there's a special blessing that the uh, rabbis established for someone who is uh, who visits the ocean. It goes Baruch Atah Hashem Elkeinu Melech Haolam Ose Hayam Hagadol. Blessed are you, Hashem, who makes the uh, great ocean. And it's important to note that this blessing is only if you didn't see the ocean in more than 30 days. If you saw the ocean in the past 30 days, uh, you also um, then you then you don't make it. So it's only when you haven't seen the ocean in a while. Question becomes: What happens if you live in a place that's close to the ocean, like New York, and uh, you can see the ocean, but you haven't necessarily seen it in a while? So in that case, uh, it says that uh, the halacha is you don't make a bracha because if you didn't see the ocean just because you haven't seen it uh, from your choice, you just didn't, you know, go to the ocean in the past few weeks or even months, uh, then you don't make it. It's only when it's sort of a, uh, a something uh, a special to you, something that you haven't seen in a while, and then you make the bracha avoseh hayam agadol. Another important question that comes up when it has to do with uh, the ocean is um, what, it, what are the halachot of going to the ocean on Shabbat? And the answer is, since there's an overall prohibition on swimming on Shabbat, uh, and especially when you have a situation like the ocean where there's no way to have a roof in it, there's no way to be able to carry in it, uh, then a person cannot go swimming on Shabbat. In fact, it says even to uh, sort of just uh, put your feet in the ocean. You know, today it's too cold, I wouldn't do it anyways. Uh, but uh, just to put your feet in the ocean, also you can't do that on Shabbat. It could be an issue also with carrying of the water. Uh, so... Yeah, there's no uh, there's no swimming on the ocean on Shabbat. You can walk on the uh, on the beach again as long as you're not carrying anything, because there's no way really to have a eruv on the beach. There's no way to turn the beach into a reshut a uh, private domain. The next and uh, final question is: Are you allowed to use the ocean for tvilat kelim as a mikvah to use your uh, you know, if you, a person has a new dish, uh, a, a bowl, a pan, uh, forks, knives, etc., let's say they're going camping on the ocean, can you uh, use the ocean as a mikvah? There's a mitzvah midor, right? A mitzvah from the Torah that every new dish that was bought uh, needs to go into the mikvah. Uh, and so uh, the answer is yes, you can use the ocean as a mikvah and you can uh, do tvilat kelim. In the, uh, in the ocean. It's important to note that that would work only if the dishes are new. If the dishes were bought and are not kosher, uh, like they were used to make pork or something not kosher before, then you would need to uh, actually make, you know, go through the process of making uh, the dishes kosher through putting them in very hot water. Uh, so those are the halachot of the ocean. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I hope to get back as soon as possible. And uh, thank you so much for listening.